guys hello hello and welcome back welcome back to episode number 18 of the minecraft world tour in the brave new world and i'm here and i'm so glad i am so ready to present to you this episode i have been looking so much forward to this and can you guess where we are right now yeah yeah we are right back at the sea monument and as you can see i have moved Almost everything. Let me actually get back into F5 or first person mode. I have removed almost e all of the walls that we had in here, and it was actually a big job. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. And I have lighted it up, and you can see we actually have a lot of guardians spawning here all the way around outside. And uh, yeah, I haven't removed any of the water outside yet, but I think I would show you this first. This would be an awesome place to actually start a base at some time an underground base so if i when i find another guardian temple at some point i'm i'm thinking that i'm probably going to do something like an under under uh, water base T anyway tell me you guys you know tell me you guys what you you think about that if that would be a cool thing and yes i have been i have actually activated my first beacon put it up and uh, it's going directly through the water and upwards. So, this is uh, this is the middle sort of. Um, so, well, and I have, as you can see, resistance and regeneration on. I could actually go for resistance too, but n not really anymore. So, yeah, you guys, you can see I have been doing. I have been digging some t a little bit since the last time we actually w was here, and uh, I'm actually pretty glad that we got this, but I have not only done this, I have actually done a lot more, or uh, not a lot more, but uh, I will show you that now, right now. Let's get up here so that you can actually show. This actually took a lot more time than I thought. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Let's get up here. So yes, as you can see, I don't, I think you can see it at least. Let's actually go over here. I have already, thrown down a perimeter sort of all the way around the the guardian farm uh, not the guardian farm but the um, this is where the uh, the mon sea monument is and this is just outside of it so all the way around actually took me a, a lot longer and I, I even ran out of sand before i could finish it and uh oh yeah by the way i actually when i dug out i actually found another sponge room so we had we ended up with uh, I think three sponge rooms in all in all in this room. So I had I have a good amount of sponges right now. So I have I, I took some time in the uh, in the weekend when I had uh, some time off and actually I sat down and started doing this, putting down the the sand all the way around. And I can tell you this was a really really not a hard job, but it was a very annoying job because once in a while. Uh, actually not only once in a while but often i was actually getting shot at by the by the what are they called guardians of course guardians of course and and uh, they shot at me so i had to jump over on the other side to sort of not get damaged so that was pretty annoying a couple of times so and you can actually hear them some all the, the time so yeah and then i ended up down here i actually ended up where i had to block it off so that they couldn't shoot me anymore you can actually shoot see right now there was actually one there that could s see me so yeah and you can hear them target something and shooting off their beams so yeah so the next step right now is that uh, i will go into a time lapse that will show you guys where i drop all of this down and uh, hopefully when we return or when the uh, when we go to the end of the time lapse this time you will actually see me removing all of the water and uh, hopefully we can get all of the water removed today that's what i actually hope or hope for and uh, maybe we can even get to remove the temple down there i don't know but we will have to see and uh, so i will end it right here and uh, we will go directly into the time lapse and uh, And yeah, I will uh, continue the work on this. And uh, I'll be right back with you guys in a little bit. And uh, I'll show you guys what an ocean monument looks like without water around it. I don't know if any one of you have actually seen that, but that would actually be a good idea. So I'll be right back, guys. And um, yeah, enjoy the time lapse.
So, guys, that actually took some time. That took actually longer than, than I thought it would. And we have now cleared all of the water out of it. I, I have to say this. From the new s blocks that we got in one party, I just love the sponges. I just love them. I, I wish I could actually get more. I hope that I would get more because this is an awesome way actually to, to get rid of water. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a tedious work. So yeah, if you're, if you're ever going to do this, then put on a movie and, and just go ahead and do it. And you can actually see the lines from where I removed all of the sand. I actually had to put in more sand, as you saw, to actually create small small areas to to clear out of the water but the last one i tell you that was a lot of guardians in the last one really really many that it was really really weird actually <laughs> to see that many guardians but yes we have now cleared out out all of the water and uh yeah i am slowly gonna get ready to actually tear down this uh temple actually yeah, let's actually have a look inside also i don't well nah we have already been inside we don't have to go inside so actually this this is uh this is really cool this is really cool i have actually never seen a, a water monument without the water run but i'm i'm liking it as it is right now you know that wow the guidance was is a pain to kill you know because of those thorns that they stick out sometimes you actually where you get damaged and everything and the beams yeah it was not very fun i died a couple of times down here i i think i died maybe 10 times at least at least 10 times so yeah but i still have my sponges and we have actually dried it off and uh, this is actually what uh, i'm not gonna start tearing down this in this episode actually i, I think i'm gonna wait with that for the next one because yeah and and uh, we are actually right now sort of ready to build the farm we are sort of ready to build a farm but i i have found a couple of things that i need to do before i start building the farm and i thought that would probably be something that i would do off screen and that is i th this is a spawning box everything inside this sand on the inside of this sand is the area where the guardians can spawn but the problem is I need to have some walkways and and so on around this place. So I actually have to extend this uh, the the barrier, the perimeter, call it what you want. I actually have to to extend this. So I was thinking maybe I need to extend this about about five, and then yeah, make some walkways down here so that I actually have a place to sort of you can call work around. And uh, but yeah, so, but yeah, again that. That's so tedious, you know. I that's not something that I would show you guys this time. Actually, uh, maybe in in a in a much longer time lapse in an episode. Not in an episode. I'm not gonna do that. But in an episode. But this is gonna take some time. So I will have to go go ahead and do this off sh off screen. But uh, anything else, we actually have the farm, right? Sort of ready. I I'm I'm still a little bit, little bit curious. What 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 do you guys think? Should I do a redstone based farm? You know where I have a switch and a uh, uh, switch off sw switch off a switch that I can uh, that I can so that I can take it on and off. Or do you want to see? Or should I just have something like constant? I I'm not really sure because if I'm just going to do the constant thing, that would be fine f for me. But I don't know. I I'm not really that uh, much much into uh i have not built that many guardian farms i have been the part of building once on the cube ground I did that squid just never mind um so yeah i'm a little bit uh a little bit torn if i should do that i'm really most leaning to the to the constant farm because when i'm not needing this place i'll be another place so yeah but um yeah that's that's it for this oh i have one other thing that i want to show you actually i have another thing that i really want to show you and and that's uh, i have been some comments have actually told me a lot that i should get into decorating some more around my places and actually one one uh, suggestion that i got was actually really really good and that was that i should do for all the farms that i have i should do some custom banners 
And I have I have been just like, hmm, I don't know if I should do that. But uh, this time I was just like, well, let's just go ahead and and uh, and uh, and do it. And uh, I actually wanted to show you guys what I came up with. I'm pretty proud of myself, at least I think. So what I came up with was this. So sort of uh, tell every tell myself, and maybe if I'm ever gonna upload the world, you know, then I can do a sign somewhere saying this thing means that that uh, that this thing is going to the guardian farm so that that's what i came up with i i feel like it it sort of shows what the guardian is you know with a big eye in the middle and everything and the blue that the guardian's not really blue but i couldn't really get the green color that i really wanted to get so i ended up with this color um i think it looks cool but if you guys can up if any of you guys can come up with some suggestions for that would look better you know maybe for the, even for the uh, the wither river or the or the slime farm or the trading village i don't know if you have any suggestions about the the banners that i should put up send them send me a picture and uh and i'll see if i like them and um and yeah and uh yeah i i oh let yeah let me actually really fast actually let me really fast slow y show you show you how to do this actually i i actually already have taken the the materials with me so this is what you need plus a stick you know a vine six wool and these colors i actually been running around to find yellow uh yellow um color i can yeah the yellow flower thing and man they are actually ha pretty hard to find now they are not really that easy to find anymore so of course we have the tulips now but I couldn't really find any f of those those either. So yeah, first uh, first step, make a banner like that. Then you're gonna put the banner right there, and then a wine there, and then a cyan color. Then you have that. Then you are gonna do this. Put the sort of a a bar on top of this, and then you're gonna do the same thing in the bottom like that then comes the tricky part let's see if i nope that was not the right thing this is where i get kind of like lost i can now i can't remember what it was that i know that i did this nope what oh oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i always forget the this this one i always forget how i did that I actually had to look it look that one up when I I knew that 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 uh, chief tent I think it's called I knew it was there but I just couldn't remember how to do it. All right, so now the bottom one, those are gonna change. Like, nope. Oh my, how is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Is it? It is like that, and then with just a red red dot in the middle. And then you have one again. So this is this is the banner that is signifying the Guardian Farm. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's sort of it for the episode for today. I know if it's been a really really short one, maybe for some of you, but uh, you know what I explained in the last uh, episode. Uh, and uh, to you guys that don't know, um, I have gotten a job now. A real life job that I have to to do, and uh, sometimes I'm just getting home, and I'm not really, really that keen to play anything or film anything. So sometimes I'm, yeah, you could call lost the motivation to play, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pl keep playing on this and giving you episode every week with Minecraft for now, and um, yeah. Uh, that's it for today. Before I go, actually, I have two things that I really want to say. I should probably have said this before. It has come to my attention that uh, you, that uh, I have not been appreciated, uh, that I do not uh, say that I appreciate you guys too much, and I do not give a shout out to you guys. And uh, actually, I want to say th uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I really do appreciate that. Appreciate the all of the support for the things that i do i really really do i have i'm just not been not uh, i have just not been any uh, any good at saying it so uh, let it be said right now 
everyone out there who's watching my videos, thank you so much for, for watching. I really appreciate what you do. I really appreciate all the feedback that you give me. And tell me, I get some feedback and I really enjoy listening to what you guys say. And uh, the other thing is that if you have no haven't noticed yet, but sometimes you can see these small things that comes by, uh, overlays that comes by with uh, liking the videos or that's actually a guy from the CubeCraft server that's actually doing them. And uh, his name is actually Math Nerds. So I have also put in a link to his uh, channel down in the description. So if you ever want to check out his channel, uh, please go and do that. That it would be so amazing for to for for you guys to go and help him so please go and uh, visit his uh, his page too he's a really really awesome guy so thank you so much and uh, yeah this is sadly the end for today let me actually go out of this this is sadly the episode for today i am uh, i'm really happy that we got to do all of this it's been a really really awesome episode it's been a really fun episode to do um minus the all the dying but that's minecraft you know so to everyone out there who has been watching this episode thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again next week and um as always until then have fun bye bye